Hello and welcome to another episode of Rainy Day Brain. I'm Ken. Thanks for joining me. And this week we're doing another chapter in the book The Happiness Trap by Russ Harris. And in this chapter, Scary Pictures, he talks about uh, diffusion techniques to diffuse unpleasant images rather than just negative thoughts negative words in our heads. So the goal is the same as we have for dealing with negative or intrusive thoughts, to diffuse their power by changing how we perceive them, rather than trying to just suppress them. Because as he's pointed out many times, suppressing your thoughts doesn't usually work. They just kind of boomerang back on you with even greater intensity later on. So. He does have a disclaimer in this chapter, though, that if you are dealing with particularly traumatic images of things like assault, uh, abuse, anything like that, you really should be trying to work through those with a qualified therapist who can help you, who kind of guide you through that kind of thing. So without further ado, the techniques are starting with the television screen technique. Now this is where you imagine uh, when the image pops up in your brain, whether it's a still image or like its own mini movie in your head that your brain is throwing at you, if you just take that and move it onto a big screen TV screen in this room in your mind, right? And then once you have it there, do fun things with it. What do I mean by that? Well, try playing it in fast forward mode or reversing it or playing it in slow-mo. Um, adjust the colors on the image, you know, turn up the saturation to where everybody looks like they're sunburned or living on Mars or something. Whatever you have to do, turn the image on its side so it's not, you know, so it's kind of sideways. Flip it to its backwards. Just do whatever you can to that image to remind you that it is an image. It's not going to hurt you. It's just a stupid image that your stupid brain came up with to taunt you with and uh, you're just not going to deal with it. You're going to go into editor mode, right? And with your own editing software in your head, you're going to tear that image apart, thus diffuse its power over you. And the next technique is subtitling. So the, it's the same concept. You put the image, whether it's a still image or a movie, uh, onto the flat screen TV in your brain, and then you subtitle it to make it humorous somehow. Uh, it's kind of like combining the movie technique with the naming technique that we used before where you're naming the story that your brain is telling you in an effort to remind yourself that it's just a story and not necessarily the truth about anything. The next technique he covers is the uh, musical soundtrack, which is kind of fun. I like this one. So I, th I find it works especially well when you have that horrible negative movie playing in your head that you score it with some upbeat, funny music, like Yakety Sax. Everybody knows Yakety Sax, right? That one. But any silly music would do. Again, the whole point is to take that serious, disturbing movie that your brain keeps assaulting you with and scoring it with silly music to take its power away. And then the final technique he talks about, and this works better I think with still images, uh, is the various locations technique, you know, different locations. So what he means by that is you take the, the disturbing image and you put it on a milk carton or maybe on the t-shirt of some random guy walking down the street in your brain or maybe on the side of a bus. Anything to kind of reinforce once again that it's just a picture. You can put that picture anywhere and it doesn't really mean anything. I think of all of them, the, uh, the movie editing one is of course my favorite and I do like to score my depressing movies with silly music. Try these out. Let me know what works for you, what doesn't work for you, or if maybe you have other techniques that you've tried that you would like to share with anyone who's watching this. Go ahead and share those in the comments down below. Oh, oh wait, before I go, um, if you are not busy tomorrow, tomorrow is Sunday, at 2 p.m. I'm doing another live stream on the Zubia app. And you can get it if you have an iOS device, so any Apple device. And it's free to use and it's fun. 
Uh, I, these broadcasts I do on the Zubia app are live, so if you're using the app on your iPhone, you can actually chat with me live during the broadcast. It's going to be 20 minutes, and I'm just going to go a little more into a little more detail about my experiences with these exercises that I've been trying in the happiness trap. And if you're there and you've been doing them along at home, you can share your experiences with me, and that would be a lot of fun, I think. Honest for true this time, that's it. I will let you go. I'm Ken McKim. You take care and uh, be good to yourself.